In honor of Women's History Month, our very own Monica Pearson has a special episode of Monica Pearson One on One this Sunday. So the special includes Georgia Tech's performance of Silenced Voices. It's a concert that represents the voices of minorities and disadvantaged groups. And not only is there a special episode airing this Sunday right here on Peachtree TV, <laughs> there is a whole new season coming soon. So here to talk about it, the one and only Monica Pearson. <laughs> good morning. Thanks for coming on the program. It's a little early. <laughs> it's a little early. <laughs> and it's going to be 6 o'clock and it's like my body's going, what are you doing? <laughs> right. Well, let me tell you, we've been over there doing the news this whole time while Monica's been in here and I have been so nervous to be talking in front of you. Lana right and Don, come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, come on. Okay, so what was it like interviewing these people, these guests you have for the new season? The last season was fantastic. I'm sure it was really cool for you. You had some cool guests. Well, I'm excited about this year because Dolly Parton, I just got back mm. from Dollywood, and I had interviewed her when the park first opened. So, you know, some 40 years later, we're back. But to hear her talk about her story, did you know she got married in Georgia? And the reason behind it is a curious one. It has to do with them not wanting women to be married in the country music business when you were coming along. Oh. If you were single, then you were more available. But she and her husband said, uh-uh. And they went to Ringgold, Georgia to get married. Wow. But to see the park now, what she's done with the park, when I was there, 40 years ago, you know, it was pretty much small. Where one stage is was a parking lot back then. But what's interesting about Dolly is that little kids, not bigger than a minute, were screaming and hollering to see Dolly. And that's because of her book program. Every child gets a book from Dolly. It's mailed to them like once a month in that Tennessee area. So Dolly Parton is more than what you see. Right. She's much more. Than, so the interview with her was great I'm, fun. I mean, she's a national treasure to oh, me. Oh, she I think. is. <laughs> no, but she I mean, really is. She is. And it's so interesting, too. I mean, in, in interviewing her, seeing her in person, talking with her, um, what was your take? Because I think that she just crosses generations. She does. You mentioned young she does. people. And, and just and, and then the diversity of the people who love her. That's what you saw in the park when we walked through the park. You saw little bitty kids. You saw people who were, you know, in their 30s and 40s, everybody. And then people my age, you know, in their 60s and 70s who love Dolly Parton. And she has a one-car parade when she's there. Uh, yeah. A one car for us. <laughs> and, and, and everybody's waving at her. See, oh, there she is. Yeah. And, you know, that's it. And it, it's just amazing how many people love her. But they know her for her music, they know her for her giving because she's really quite a philanthropist. And she is a Tennessee girl through and through. Also coming up, um, I've got Kelly Hansen, who is with mm. Foreigner. And they say this is their farewell, to farewell tour. And they're actually going to begin it here in Georgia, in Atlanta. Wow. So that's going to be very exciting. Do you, do you believe him? Is it, is it really the I farewell? Really, it's, <laughs> it's really, really is. is. It. This is it. He, as he said to me, he's been doing this for so long. Yeah. He finally got married at 59 which is two years ago. Okay. So he's like, I'm ready to have a life. And my big question was, you've got all this gorgeous hair. Are you going to cut it off now <laughs> so that no one will know who you are? But to hear Kelly talk about music as it has changed, but how foreigner, again, just like Dolly, it, it's cross-generational. Yes. People love it. And then I've got some really good, interesting artists with, in music coming up. Bone Crusher. Do you know Ooh, who Bone yes. Yeah. Bone Crusher. Oh and then, do you remember the song, Yeah? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the young man who wrote that, Sean Garrett, lives here in Atlanta. Okay. He has written more top 100 songs than anyone, I think, wow. of his age. And he has Usher's new song, which just premiered on the 17th, and it's called Glue. And it's so interesting because when you hear it, you go, Usher? Yeah. 
It is so, it's kind of like a mixture of Prince, Usher, it yes, is phenomenal. It's called that. Glue. So this season coming up is going to be a lot of fun. We've got some really interesting musical guests. But the piece on Sunday, I hope you'll get to see. Because when people think of Georgia Tech, you know what they think of? Engineers. Yep. Yeah. They actually have a whole music As department I say, They have the arts there. as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there is this wonderful young woman um, whose name is I just had a, a, a senior moment. <laughs> ja Jasmine Piggott, who plays the tuba. Now, when you think of the tuba, what do you hear? I mean, like, well, guess what? The tuba, you have never heard it the way Jasmine plays it. It's melodic. Mm. It is romantic. It is musical. It is everything the opposite of what you think of a tuba. And Jasmine talks about how she's trying to get more women and people of color into symphony orchestras. Nice. And of course, pushing for the tuba. Right. I, I was going to say, only Monica Pearson can get us to say. attempt a tuba sound on live television. You've got such a fascinating way of describing these yeah. interviews. They're going to be so good. Yeah, you. it was captivating. Well, thank you. And, yeah. I hope that people will be drawn in this yeah. Sunday at 8 o'clock yeah. on Teach Tree TV. And there let's it is. tell you about it. This is the special Women's History Month episode of Monica Pearson One on One Sunday, right here on Peach TV, 8, Peach Street TV, 8 o'clock. And then, of course, the new season airs on April. Second. Monica, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'll get up early for you too anytime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're right back, guys.